throw out those god awful red cayenne glasses because today I'm going to show you how to watch 3D YouTube videos on the 3DS. Well, to prove it, I will show you a simple video that I rendered in 3D. As you can see from the mountains back here, there are two distinct images. That means that this is indeed in 3D. Now, uh, as a sort of a disclosure here, um, this video right here, the Wind Waker video, is not entirely the best video to demonstrate the, uh, the capabilities of the 3DS. However, it is really short, and it's probably best for that reason, for video, um, excuse me, for demonstration purposes. So, what do we need to do this? Well, obviously, uh, 3DS. 3DS is absolutely necessary for this. Um, another thing you will need is an SD card. Right here, I got a 2GB. Um, this one came with a 3DS. Uh, I don't know if they do that anymore, but I got the one when it was 250 so, you know, it's less, uh, less expensive now. But, uh, yeah, all you need is an SD card. And uh, if you do not have an SD reader for your computer, you will need something that looks like this. You can buy off of Amazon or something like that for really cheap. All it is is that you can insert the the SD card in there if you really had to. Um, this is actually a micro SD one because I have an SD reader on my computer. Um, however, you know, if you need one, go buy one off of uh, Amazon or something. Really cheap. Alright, let's get started. Okay, well let's start out by downloading all the programs that we need in order to play 3D videos on your 3DS. To start us out, you will need some sort of thing in order to unzip your files. Okay, to unzip folders. I use 7-Zip, it is free and it can be downloaded by anybody obviously. Um, uh, I will provide the links in the description, you just go to this website right here and it will download for you right there, as you can see from SourceForge. Uh, and then you just download and install it, it's really simple. Um, and like I said, this is only if you need, if you only, only if you need something to unzip uh, files. Some people have it already. So if you do not, please download, download this from there. Okay. Now that you have that set, we're going to do the most important part. We're going to go to this uh, site right here, link in the description, like I said, um, and you're going to go to download selected version. This is 3DS Video 1.0. So click down, right, get out of here, Norton. Okay. So we're going to download the file. It doesn't matter which one you click, I don't think. However, I just click automatic. Uh, failed server problem, what the heck? That's not right. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. And as you can see, it's downloading. Um, I was planning on just skipping this part, but it's probably better. I'll just to show you what a zip, a zip uh, folder is, if you do not know. Most people, I would think, know, but if you don't, hey, no problem. Okay, so we're waiting for it to load. 12 seconds. And uh, since I have Chrome, you can probably exit out of here if you want. Okay, it's still downloading. I saved it to my desktop. Just remember, if you don't know where it is, to uh, click this thing right here. Show in folder. It's a good way to know where things are. Okay, so right here we got the folder. As you can see, it's zipped, but I have Win uh, or discard, sorry, I have uh, Seven Zip or whatever. And right here are all the files you need. So if you want to, just copy this and put it in a different folder, put it on your desktop. Um, but you do want to unzip it, so you know, create a new folder and drag it into a folder or something. Okay, now that you have all this stuff, I already have that. As you can see right here, I put it in this folder named 3ds Video. So we're going to move on from there and delete that video, but remember, you would keep that. Obviously, you want to keep all the programs that you downloaded. Um, and here they are. This is the files that you want. So, now that you have the folder, you need to actually get the YouTube video that you want to put on their 3DS. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure there's like online ways to do this, to download some YouTube videos for free. This software, however, is really good. I don't. Maybe there's some online software that does the same thing that uh, you can change the quality and you can download a, bu a bunch of them at once. So maybe there's something like that. However, I would recommend this program. It's really good and it's also free. So <laughs> can't argue with that. So uh, you would go to this website. I'm gonna provide you the link. And like I showed you a second ago, you just click the, here, I'll do it again. You just click the download now button. And as you can see, it's gonna download for us. Uh, it's an exe file, executable file. Um, and then once it's here, you just, uh, you know, install it, do your thing, run. Uh, and then, you know, I already have it downloaded, obviously, so I'm not going to do that again. So I'm going to delete it, but remember, you would keep it, you'd install it, and whenever it's installed, you'd have everything needed to start downloading your YouTube video. And as you saw, this is the video that we're going to use, uh, Zelda Wind Waker in 3D. It's a pretty decent video, it's really short, so it'll be really fast. Alright, now, you're going to want to uh, open free YouTube download. You can type it in if you need to, free, excuse me, free, free. YouTube download. And as you can see, right here it is. So, let's download our video. 
Okay, so first of all, you're gonna wanna get the link of your YouTube video right here. So, copy it. Remember, I'm gonna provide this in the description and all that. So, all right, now you wanna taste it. I don't know why it takes a little bit. I gotta check. I guess it has to maybe check for advertisements or something. Who the heck knows? But in the meantime, we can change the quality. Now, I don't know what the default is. It's probably like original YouTube quality or something like that, but definitely change it down to high quality video because the 3DS, I'm pretty sure, can hold reasonably uh, good quality videos. So just put it on 720p. Obviously, we need to go 1080. That's just ridiculous. Um, okay, now click download. Uh, <clears throat> The name really doesn't matter, you can you can change the tags, but seriously, it's gonna have to be named something very specific anyway, so just leave it like that. Okay, so it downloaded. Um, oh crap, I forgot to tell you. If you want it, it doesn't really matter, but like if you uh if you want to like end up on your desktop, you're gonna have to like mess with the output file and stuff like that. Not necessary, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you how to find it. Right here, this downloads by default to video. So go into your videos and you can find it in your videos, it's some anime stuff. <laughs> okay, right there is where it is, Wind Waker in 3D. Another way of finding it, in case it's not there by whatever, by some <laughs> miracle, uh, just type in the name of the file. So it's called Zelda Wind Waker. And you should be able to, hey, what the heck? Oh, let me try this again. Well, it probably has to update or something like that. But anyways, it should be in your video, so don't sweat it. And like I said, if it doesn't work, um, just go right under your, uh, not edit, you want to go right under options, output, and then put exactly output folder. You're going to put it on your desktop. That's probably the most convenient. So then it'll pop out wherever you want it to. I'm going to put it for my desktop from now on. So now that you have your file, like I said, probably located in videos. If it's not, change your output. Uh, sorry, this is a little advertisement thing. It pops up every time. Not a big deal. Okay, so we have our file right here. Zelda Wind Waker in 3D. So it's all ready, right? Time to watch in 3D, drag it right under 3DS and we're good, right? No. Not at all. As you can see, it's side by side. And if you also notice, if you can cross your eyes, that's a way to watch things in 3D. It might not actually be in 3D right away. Sometimes it's reversed. Um, this actually seems to be in pretty good quality. However, I do believe that for whatever crazy reason, it is reversed when you use our program. So, how do we rectify the situation? Well, allow me to demonstrate. So, open that 3DS video beta thing that I that uh, we downloaded. Uh, it's in this folder right here. That's where I put it. Now, you're going to click on it and run it. Okay, so we have our little program here, right? So this is the source video. So what do we do? We find our video. So as you can see, it will be right here. Zelda Wind Waker in 3D. I put it on my desktop. That's where I dragged it. It may be in your video file. It's wherever you put it. Open it. Click the open button. Now, you're going to want to mess with the settings a bit. Okay, so which one is it? Obviously, as we saw by the video, it is side by side. That's usually what it is from YouTube, so always put that. Okay, now, like I said, for whatever reason, it likes to mirror the image, and it makes it so that you have to, like, hold your 3DS at a weird angle for it to work. So you want it, obviously, to be um, correct, and you want it to be natural, so put mirror input video. Mirror input video. Now, this is the quality. I have no idea, guys. You can experiment with it. Um, just, I put best, it really doesn't take like any um, any space, at least this video doesn't. Some others will take a bit, you know, it's not terribly long, but uh, so yeah, just give it a give it a convert, click the convert button then, you're all done, and wait for it to load. Like I said, this is a really quick video, so luckily it won't take long at all, it's 16 seconds or 14 seconds or something like that. So let it load. Now, as you can see what it's doing, it's interesting. It, it first it, okay, that's actually already done, I can't even describe in time. Okay, so what it does is, first it creates a left side video, then it creates a right side video, and then it blends them together so that, um, Certain video players and, like I said, your 3DS can play these. So if you're curious to see what it looks like, um, it looks like this. Oh, important, do not, do not rename these files, okay? Um, they need to appear in a specific order on your 3DS to work, I've noticed. I don't know why that is, it just is for me, so I'd leave it that way. Um, if you already have the same file name on your desktop, it'll be renamed to the next order. So this will be 0002. Okay, just make sure it pops up in the right order on your 3DS. Okay. Well, now that I've had that mini heart attack there, I just had to describe that. Um, we can watch it. As you can see, there's two different things. Again, however, these are blended together. And now it is in perfect 3D. So we don't have to reverse our eyes, excuse me, reverse the videos or anything. So now it is good. It's, in, uh, it's mirrored properly. So we're going to put this video right here on our 3DS. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna, you know, excuse me, while I insert the, uh, the SD card, be sure that you're uh, 3DS uh, thing is man thing if you will um, you know the 
the root menus and all that, make sure they're pretty clean. And what I mean by that is like the files here. So we're just going to insert our SD card, we're going to open it up, and you'll see two files here most likely. This is always involved with cameras, I've noticed. It's the same for my cam uh, Canon camera. So you click that, and then I think this is like organized by dates or something like that. Like there used to be pictures in here. However, I just like completely erased the pictures and everything. Not erased, but I like I copied it to my computer so that I can, you know, exclusively do this. I'm not sure, maybe there's like some videos you see. This is some things that require experimentation. Um, as you can see, originally there was a whole bunch of pictures and stuff in here. But the order is very finicky, so just experiment a bit, but I'm just going to show you the one that works. And this is the same video, but I'm going to show you how to move it on here. So this is what you, you should have this, or you should have nothing at all. So I'm going to assume that you have nothing at all. Okay. So your video most likely showed up as, here, hold on, let me delete, this is the old video. Don't do any of this, just what you'll have here is you'll have a video like this that you downloaded, and it probably says 001, so we'll leave it at that. Now, drag your video onto your 3DS uh, menu in the 100NI03, or whatever whatever is in the DCIM folder. It is probably right here. This right here is the first, whatever is the first one. And make sure the video is called this. If it's not called this, it most likely won't work. And remember, if you have a subsequent video, name it 002. And if it's on your desktop, or uh, excuse me, if uh, while you convert it, it's already on the desktop, it should already uh, convert it to 0002. So, we're done. That's basically all we have to do. So pop your SD card out, put it on your 3DS, and uh, let me switch to the other camera really quick. All right, so you popped the SD card out of your computer, and now you're ready to get cracking. And we are, like I said, we are actually done. We're just gonna test it out to make sure it works. Um, I erased all the videos that were on my SD card, so you could prove that this is exactly from this time. This is not a trick or anything. So we're gonna load it up. Press the power button, obviously. I'm sure you don't need a tutorial on that, but hey, you never know. So let's load this mom up, load the 3DS camera. There might be a better way to watch this, like there's like always a little thing up here, but it's pretty non-intrusive, so not really a big deal. So let it do its preparing or whatever, click view videos and photos. Now, okay here it is, it works for me right away, but let me just say something really quickly, please pay attention. If it tells you updating, updating files or do you want to update whatever, always click yes because sometimes the videos do not work right away. Sometimes they just, it, it requires like a little loading thing. Um, and it's only a first time thing I believe, but just make sure whatever it is, click OK, click yes. And then once you're done, you just click uh, A to play it. As you can see, it's playing up there. And if you want that thing to disappear, press A again. And it'll play in almost full screen. Just with that little slight headache, uh, hiccup there. Little uh, time frame, but no big deal. Works perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I'll try my best, but again, this requires some experimentation. It requires some, uh, you know, trial and error. Just see what works, see what doesn't. If it doesn't work the first time, trust me, try it again. Try it with a different video. A lot of times, um, it just might you might have done something a little wrong in the very beginning. Like I said, this is a very finicky process. However, it does indeed work, and uh, again, best of luck to you. Any questions? Uh, drop me a comment. Thanks a lot, you guys, and have a wonderful day.